Hello! My name is Phoebe Ayres, and I am a Wikipedia editor and librarian. Today, I am going to talk about how to evaluate a Wikipedia article. This is the English language edition of Wikipedia. You have probably been here before. Wikipedia can be a very useful source. But there are 4.5 million articles in the English language edition of Wikipedia alone, and they are not all the same quality. Some are very good, high quality references. Some articles are just getting started or don't yet follow Wikipedia guidelines. This video is about how you tell the difference between a high quality and a poor quality Wikipedia article. To know how to evaluate an article, you need to know something about how Wikipedia is built. Wikipedia articles are written by volunteers who follow lots of guidelines. You can find out more by going to the About Wikipedia link on the left-hand sidebar. Briefly, these are the core guidelines for Wikipedia articles that editors follow. All articles should be neutral, verifiable, and not contain original research. And there are lots of style guidelines so that Wikipedia articles should all have clear writing and structure. Finally, it's important that all articles have good outside sources to verify facts and statements that are made in the article. Okay, let's go back to Wikipedia and look at an article. I am going to search for an article the article on the common toad. This is a featured article, which you can tell because there's a star in the upper right-hand corner. This means that Wikipedia editors think that this article is high quality. But how would you evaluate it? To evaluate the article, first look at the article introduction. Does it summarize the article and the overall topic? Next, scroll down and look at the table of contents for the article. Is the article well structured? Are there any important aspects that are missing? After you've looked at the table of contents, scroll down and look at the text of the article itself. Are facts and statements referenced to sources? Is the writing clear and understandable? And is the article well illustrated? Finally, keep scrolling down and look at the reference section at the very end. This is where the references for the article are listed. Are there lots of references or only a few? And what is being cited? Newspapers and web pages or scholarly books and articles? Finally, at the very end, look to see if there is a section of external links or further reading, or both. These should point you to other high-quality resources on the topic for finding out more. Once you've looked at the article, scroll all the way back up to the top. There are two more places you can examine to figure out the quality of an article. The first is the talk page, which you get to by clicking the talk tab at the top of the article. This takes you to the talk page, also known as the discussion page, which is where editors discuss an article and also provide ratings of its quality. Look at the ratings, which are at the very top, and then scroll down and look at the discussion. Are there disputes between editors or comments about inaccuracies that you can see? Once you've looked at the talk page, click the article tab to go back to the article, and then click the view history tab to look at the history of the article. The history is where you can see every change that has been made to an article since it was started. Each line of the history tells you who made a change, what date they made the change, and what they changed. You can always look at the previous versions of the article by clicking on the date of each revision. Quickly scan the edit history. Have there been lots of recent changes? This might indicate an article is in progress or may indicate a rapidly changing subject. Have there been lots of editors or only a few? 
And have there been lots of changes that have been undone by other editors? These could be vandalism or changes by inexperienced editors. Finally, add it all up. Is the article comprehensive and well-written, sourced to reputable sources, and are there any current disputes, ongoing vandalism, or other problems? To compare a high-quality article to a lower-quality article, let's look at an article about another species of toad, the natterjack toad. Lots of articles have warning messages at the top, like this one. These messages are left by Wikipedia editors, and they are a good clue that there may be quality issues with this article. The messages can be removed when the article is fixed. Look at the text of this article. This article has a much shorter introduction, is missing potential sections that you might expect, such as behavior, and there are not sources for all facts and statements in the text. When you scroll down to the end, there are not many references, and two of them are to newspaper articles. I checked the links for these, and it turns out that two of them don't even work anymore. Scroll back up to the top and click on the Talk tab to check out the Talk page. Other editors have rated this article Start Class. The usual rating scale goes from Featured Article, which are the most high-quality articles, through A Class, Good Article, B Class, C Class, Start, and Stub. Do you agree with this rating of Start? And what would you add or change to make this article better? If you think you can improve this article, click on the Article tab and then click on the Edit tab to edit this page. Make your changes in the text box that appears, add a summary of what you've changed, and click Save Page to save your changes. For more on how to get started as a Wikipedia editor, go to the Help link on the left-hand sidebar and follow the tutorial. Thank you for watching this video and have fun browsing Wikipedia.